Barbara. And I'm Emily. And welcome to the Co-op Cooking Show, episode two. Today we are going to make three energy efficient pies. They were released in the Arkansas Living Magazine in May of 1989. Energy efficient pies means there's absolutely no baking, so these recipes should be fun to make at home for the family or even just for yourself. Let's get started, let's go. Today we are going to make three different pies with two different kinds of crusts. Mm -hmm. We're going to start with a graham cracker crust, which disclaimer, we googled it. <laughs> we did. We googled uh, how to make it. Uh, the Arkansas Living Recipe didn't include uh, how to make a graham cracker crust, so we went to the grocery store and googled it. So we're going to start with a cup and a half of crushed graham cracker. And pour that in. Six tablespoons of butter. Yes. Unsalted. Unsalted butter. And one third of a cup of sugar. I'm excited. So Emily was telling me that you can actually buy graham cracker crust already crushed. We didn't do that, so we crushed it mm. and um, put it all together. Now we're gonna put it in the the pie pan. That peach just fell out. So we put our graham cracker pie crusts in the oven off camera, but now they're ready. So we're gonna pull them out of the oven. The third pie requires a regular pie crust that we did get from the refrigerator section at the store but we are going to go ahead and bake it and make sure that it's cooled before we get ready to make that pie. Okay. Are you much of a baker? Mm -hmm. I love to bake. Do you really? Yeah. I made banana bread last night. That's right, that's right. You like just regular cooking. I'm, I'm not a baker, I'm like a, I made crock pot soup yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to put this in to bake for roughly 10 minutes at 450. First up is strawberry banana pie. We already have the ingredients laid out and it looks amazing. So we're going to chop up one cup of strawberries and a medium banana to start off with. I grew strawberries once. You did? I did. Uh, when I was in college, I decided to go get a couple of strawberry plants mm -hmm. and I put them on my apartment front porch and very nice. A few weeks later I had a harvest. I kid you not, they were this big. Little strawberry. They were little bitty. But me and my roommates um, had a feast and we each ate a tiny strawberry because there were only three. That's awesome. That's a true story. Okay, so we need to cut the banana up. I think into okay. to, to not super thick slices, maybe not super thin either, because then we need to line the entire Are we cover crust. We're covering the bottom. Yes. Okay, so we have boiled our water. We're gonna pour the gelatin in, and it says to whisk it in for roughly three minutes. Okay, do you wanna go ahead and add the ice? Sure. When I was a kid, we used to sneak into the freezer and just like get a big spoonful of cool it. <laughs> and for some reason, we always thought that my mom didn't know, but there's no way. She knew. <laughs> yeah, she had to know. Oh, it says whip it's until smooth. smooth, and that looks it's really smooth. smooth. Yeah. Going to fold in the strawberries. Emily's uh, showing me off <laughs> off <laughs> camera like, Fold them. Like, don't stir. Fold. This needs to go in the fridge. Yes. Before it gets to that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we'll bring it back and put it in. Okay. With the bananas and pie crust. Strawberry mixture going in the fridge. And in the meantime, we will start our next recipe. Okay. 
Up next, we have pineapple coconut pie. This is, I'm hoping, summer on the beach in a pie, because that's what it smells like. I think it's gonna be my favorite. Okay, so we boiled water just like we did with the last pie, mm -hmm. and now we're gonna add the gelatin. All three of these recipes are basically the same process, just with different ingredients, but we still wanna take you along the journey of making each recipe. So we have a can of crushed pineapple, a, was it a three ounce package of yes. orange gelatin, we have uh, some coconut flakes, two cups of ice, a thing of Cool Whip, and a teaspoon and a half of rum extract. Today is not sponsored by Cool Whip, um, <laughs> although we're using a lot of Cool Whip and, and uh, gelatin packets. So that seems to be the basis of both of these, or all of these pies, really. So, a funny little story. Uh -oh. As you may have noticed, I changed shirts. I was prepping ahead of time for the next pie, and I was just, a little foreshadowing, I was just gr grating the orange peel, and I was holding it against me like this, and apparently the orange juice came <laughs> out of the orange, and I had a very orange circle in my sweatshirt. So cooking is messy, and thankfully we had another shirt on hand. We are not professionals. We meant it when we said amateur chefs. Yeah, <laughs> parkour. <laughs> Three more minutes, ma'am. <laughs> Strain. We're straining off the extra ice. Had we used bigger ice cubes, it might be easier to just like pick them up out of there. But we're using these little bitty ones. We didn't that's have, what our ice machine makes. We didn't have access to big ice cubes. Yeah. You use what you have. You're right. Okay. Okay. Then, Whipped. We're gonna stir in the whipped. Ooh, you know what this reminds me of? Like a color. You guys remember dream sickles? Oh, it does. It's like a pretty light orange. Yeah. Next, we fold in the pineapples and the coconut. So this is where this recipe differs than the first one um, because it has extra extra ingredients in it. Uh, we have rum extract that we were supposed to already have put in the recipe, so we're just gonna do that now. Then we're gonna add the coconut. All right, now this will go in the fridge until it will be able to mound. Up next is our nectarine pie. So we've boiled the water. We're gonna go ahead and add the raspberry gelatin. It's one package of raspberry gelatin. And then also a tablespoon of sugar. Raspberry gelatin was really hard to find in the store for some reason. I sat in that aisle staring at the gelatin section for a really long time. And this really nice woman walked by and she said, what you looking for? And I said, raspberry gelatin. I just don't think they have it. And 0.3 seconds later, she was like, here it is. Sometimes it just takes another set of eyes. It does. <laughs> so while I was also in the grocery store, obviously had to find nectarines and could not find them anywhere. We had a good friend of ours help us out. Miss Roxy. Also recent retiree. Yes. <laughs> so if you've ever come to the drive-thru, uh, come to the lobby, you've probably met Roxy. I gave her a call. She said, I got you, girl. So thank you, Roxy, for making this recipe possible. So now we're gonna strain off the extra ice. And if you've watched until now, you know that the next step is Cool Whip. You know what it reminds me of? What? Rose pink. Rose? Yeah. You know like pretty pink roses? Like light pink rose? Yeah. I feel like it's the classic color that little kids paint or color whenever they color a pig. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's like the, the classic light soft pink. Only someone that lives rural and works <laughs> for a rural electric cooperative would 
ever go that direction. You're right. Most importantly, it looks good. It does. We're folding in. We're folding in. The coarsely chopped. Okay. <laughs> and peeled nectarines. Just gonna touch it. And the, I think, teaspoon of orange rind. Did you measure that? Yep. Cool. Smells, I think this might be my favorite one. I know, it smells like, fantastic. That orange, that orange smell really comes out. It does. As we mentioned earlier in the episode, we categorized each one of these pies as energy efficiency pies. And that's how they were advertised in the issue of Arkansas Living. The reason they're energy efficient is because they're no bake. And when you turn on your oven, that uses quite a bit of electricity. But when you put something that's already cool in the refrigerator, it takes less electricity and it becomes energy efficient. And March is Arkansas Valley Electric's energy efficiency awareness month. So we've been posting energy efficiency tips on our social media, uh, helpful articles on our website. And we thought that these recipes would be a perfect addition to our energy efficiency tips. Now it's time to put this in the refrigerator to set up so it can then be poured into our crust. And it sits. Our strawberry banana gelatin fruit mixture has set up in the fridge. So now we are going to hold this and sure. all. Thank you. So now we're going to go ahead and put it over. Oh, all of the strawberries kind of like sunk to the bottom. Oh yeah. So they're coming to the top of the pie now. Yeah. Interesting. Perfect. I don't know if that was intended, but it's kind of cool. It is cool. Get that a little bit right there. No pipeline left behind. Absolutely not. Okay. Perfect. Okay, it looks delicious. So we are supposed to set it in the fridge to set up for, oopsie, for two hours, but we're actually gonna come back to it tomorrow. Perfect. To the fridge. We'll see you in the morning. And we're back. It's the next morning and the pies have chilled overnight. And I'm gonna tell you guys, these pies look amazing. They do. They set up really well. They really not did. Anymore. Not at all. <laughs> We've got strawberries and bananas already chopped up. And then some coconut, uh, shaved coconut. Nectarines and orange rind. Yes. And whipped cream. Of course. Because. A staple. <laughs> because why not? All right, do you wanna do the nectarine first? Sure. We're gonna go ahead and decorate. Yes. All right. I think yeah. that looks pretty. I do too. Do you wanna do like a, a little squirt of that Absolutely. and then we could put the orange rind over the top of it? Okay, so now for the coconut. Oh yeah. I love coconut. I think I like the idea of coconut more than I like coconut. Really? Yeah. Think that's good? I think it's good. Do we want whipped cream on this one? I'm gonna do like tiny little skirts around the edge. Ooh, yeah. You know? Bananas on the outside, maybe? Strawberries in the center? Sure. Oh yeah. Cuter. That's it. Way cuter. Once again, this episode, not sponsored by Whip Toppings. I've been waiting for this. I don't know if I can eat this much pie before mm, breakfast. I sure cannot. <laughs> Are you ready? Which one? Okay, I'm gonna go nectarine. Nectarine. I'm gonna go nectarine. Good. That is good. It's very cool whippy. I yeah. like the regular pie crust a lot. That's good. I like it. That's good. I would eat it again. I wasn't prepared. I wasn't, it was tangier than I expected. It's tangy, that's the thing yeah. that caught me. Yeah. I think it's the whole real nectarine inside the pie. Yeah. That's it. I'm gonna go strawberry banana. 
Okay. Because I have expectations for this one. Oh, I got a banana ant. It tastes exactly like I expected. That makes my heart happy. It tastes like fresh. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Like fresh fruit. Spring. I know we we yeah we've done this in the spring, but this would be an awesome summer afternoon. Yes, it would. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Their crust is good. Yeah, I like the cookie graham. The graham, graham <laughs> cracker crust. Ready to. Now we're gonna try the pineapple coconut. But we're not sure exactly what it's gonna taste like. Not at all. Cause it, it has orange gelatin. I'm looking forward to it. It's pretty good. Also tangy, which makes total sense. Very tangy. It's more, it's more tangy than the tangerine. Mm hmm But the- Oh, way more. This one tastes like a, a punch. Yes! It tastes like yes. birthday punch. That's exactly what it is. I'm gonna take another bite. We should rename it. Punch pie. That's punch pie. Mm -hmm. That's punch pie. Good. Very Not good. what I expected. Not what I expected at all. Mm, see, like right there, I got a lot of orange. Really? And I hadn't gotten orange mm. in the first bite. How much pie is good to consume before I them? We're probably eating like at least a piece and a half. <laughs> We're fine. Yeah. There are no rules when you're an adult. <laughs> Thanks for cooking with us today on the Co-op Cooking Show. Don't forget to subscribe below and we'll see you next month. Bye.